I think Queen Queen should do pretty well against. But I don't think Kunka is gonna like lose that lane, or he's gonna like he's gonna still get farm and he's gonna get levels and he's gonna be able to farm jungle anyway. Just happen. So it should not be a problem. I didn't think there are side lanes. On... Pretty hard. I think Beast Ghost is still pretty happy though, like uh, about the stop lane. I think they are. They have gotten too much on this lane, but have. Nice level and five. they go straight for the Ursa too. This could be really good for Midas Club. Like as I was saying, same time, he's making a lot of space for the Tide Hunter. On the, he's getting, he's getting more farm than I expected him to get. Like he's gonna, he has this Morbid Mass now. He's not that easy to break. So he can just life steal from creeps. That yep, what, and there's uh, a big, big stack here that Murdoch is uh, intrigued about. Next, farm a big stack here and. Yeah, yeah. And here comes the bulk. Murdoch's like, well, I'm gonna steal it. You're not gonna take it from me. Okay, Thorns in the air. Yeah, he tries to get some of it. Pops his ultimate. And there comes the NP ulti, and the NP ulti will snatch mo most of them. And the battle continues. You go. Yes, he jumps away. Here comes Chris Luck, and your target is the Beastmaster. He might get himself a beautiful 3 man ulti, but he only, wait, he only hits one? I'm not sure if that even hit the Beastmaster at all, but Urs is dead. It really feels bad for Kunkel to die like this that many times. Like, some heroes fine, but it's like, I don't know. Okay, it's like one of those heroes you just not. Yeah, and he's farm. back. He, he he just wants to go back to battling again. They're trying to go for the Ursa. Ursa does have his ulti, but he doesn't get it off. The arrow does connect. He barely gets it off. Nightmare. Flying a bit of extra time. There. They did use their ult. Teleport. And you see this. This has been like three minutes of action top lane, and he still hasn't been there once on prop. Nope. Still no TP. Right click. Now still kicking in. Now he's TPing in, but. Oh. Same sprout into Moose. I guess they hurt me. They, they definitely heard you. They took your advice. That's cool. Well, almost Midas mode, but here comes Titan. He's got a Rabbit ready, and he will use it right away. He doesn't hesitate. They get two stuns, and that's Murdoch and Hiko. The Quap ult, the only hits onto the Conquer, though, so they managed to get the Murana back to safety. And Hector is trying to make some damage output, as well as Schofield just pushing them with the cocks. They've got the Nature's Prophet, but the Glimpse! Just in time, moving Whisper away. RDO, just a few extra seconds given, but he still won't survive it. So three heroes down, the Disruptor NP and the Beastmaster fall in the hands of Beast Coast. And now, like, you see, it's like, they came for this mid they were too late. They had to run the move. They're looking to go on K1. Yep. <clears throat> Aegis, Aegis expires is... right now, so they want to go yeah. for this. Aegis is out. Glimpse. Overpowered as well. His entire team is not even nearby, oh, so nice Ursa thing. is in massive trouble. Does tank a lot of damage, and there is the cavalry coming, but it's it's a bit too late. That, what is his thought process, process for that item? I don't know if it's... It's not particularly good anything against any of the heroes, but fight happening bottom. It's like a pre-satanic thought build maybe against the Ursa, I don't know. But he is being held in the river. 1300 HP, you'll stop into the air. Do they have a combo? The Royal Ravage does connect, but the BKBs are popped from both sides. And here comes also Chris Luck with the ultimate. And Hector is trying to hit RDO, but RDO, he's just holding behind the trees in his own sprout, and he's alive. And they will turn this around. They will take down Chris Luck, and Schofield is stuck on the hill. He does come down with the hook shot to hit onto RDO, but he doesn't do really any damage. And Nature's Prophet, he's just right clicking away they, happily. They catch the Ursa, and they all, all from there, it's just been no point. They're trying to get some glimpse plays, but it's a bit too late for the Tide Hunter. And now, hook shot. They find the Kunkka, a very good target to go for, but he just gets Halbert right away in Ursa. He does get his BKB off in time, and he goes straight for Sexy Fat. He does get roared up, so his BKB timer will run out just a few bit longer. As Whisper is being chased up as well. Here comes the ultimate, the two ultimate. They were connecting perfectly onto them all. And Midas Club, they've only lost one. They're going to lose the second one. Duster down to you, and Murdoch, he's still surviving. He pops the cheese. He's got another Halbert, but it doesn't last for long because Ursa's already popped his ultimate. They, they got the feed script on RDO, and RDO won't be to do anything it's fine he's also gonna go down they're gonna lose the NP they lose the ages and the buyback coming in from Kunkka also from the disruptor and now Beast Coast they still decide we're gonna stay here we're gonna take this fight all the way RDO trying to TP home he will be cancelled with the Yules as another arrow coming in from the Murata as well three man Torrid connecting as well from the Kunkka but they were still trying to keep NP alive but RDO he's not gonna make it he's not gonna survive Eco trying to make his way out Murdoch being chased up a hook shot from Schofield the Glimmer Cape will buy a bit of time for the Kunkka but at the same time they're going straight for this 
Marana and Quap. He doesn't have a lot of HP, doesn't have a lot of mana, but all they need to do is hit right now, and Hector is doing exactly that, and Murdoch is dropped to so low, and it will take him as well. And they are falling on Midas Club's side. Diebacks and buybacks and whatnots are kicking in, and suddenly, all of that lead that they had on Midas, on Midas Club's side. Also, I it was really like, I don't know, about Midas. Turn around. They go for the wall. They go the Nightmare save on the Ursa for now. The can be popped on Chris Luck as well. Another hook shot onto the Disruptor. Duster's already used most of his spells anyway, so it will be collateral damage that will just take him away right uh, at the same time as that Tier 2 tower is already gone. Yep. Oh, the, the, these fights just feels like it just kicks out of nowhere. I mean, he goes looking yeah. for an arrow. Whisper is the target, though. Trying to isolate him, try and damage him from afar. He is muted up. Here's the hook shot. It's another one. Nice one. And a crop on the on two. They don't just need to take rid of RDO before RDO kills everybody. There it goes. So goes the Ravage connecting all three RDOs down. No buyback on this Nature's Prophet for 83 seconds. Beast is down two. Sexy fat gone. Fiend scrap on Murdoch. All the cores down. Four heroes gone from Midas Club and Beast Coast. If you thought they were gone, well, they're back. At least for now. And this might just be game. I don't know, they had a good idea of trying to get a tide with the disruptor ulti. Unfortunately, they weren't just all ready for that. Like, if the Prophet gets to hit him from the start, they might be able to kill him. They're gonna go tier 4s. They're gonna end the game right here. They're not giving any time for Midas Club to recover from this. They know we don't have Ravage, but we have damage. We can take down these towers. One is gone. Going for the second one. Keeping the Marana sleep the way. Disruptor's alive, but there's no cores for at least 23 seconds. Another tier 4 down. And onto the Ancient. They're gonna end it. GG. There's nothing that Midas Club can do. And they will have to give Beast Coast the first game. Yep. I mean, pretty back and forth game. I think both teams could have won this. I definitely 